Welcome back to the 23 Morning Blend. We have Ashton Lockhart, the owner-operator of Cityd uh, on East State Street. It is a company, business, that deals with mental health problems. It's a big umbrella. We'll talk about that first. What, what, what does the name Cityd mean? Yeah, Cityd is an acronym. It stands for Creating Initiative Through Interaction, Education, and Development. Creating Initiative Through Interaction, education and development you got it. and the, the idea is to embrace and find paths to overcome mental health issues that people might be what, what what's the age of your clientele you got it i work uh, people think i'm joking i work my youngest client is five my oldest client wow. is in their 80s so i work with all populations all ages all genders all colors on all the things <laughs> well and there are a lot of things under the mental health umbrella is there one thing you focus on or is it uh, whatever issues you are confronted with you try and find solutions to sure so i'm what's called a certified clinical trauma professional so my lens is to look for our past experiences and how those things show up in our present lives and can sometimes create challenges to living the life that we hope to live so my focus is trauma but as we know trauma can bleed into all the areas of our lives so that kind of shows up in all different ways um, and, and like, like how? How does it, how can, how does it show up? In Absolutely. So trauma changes the way you think your thoughts, the way you feel your feelings, and the way you connect with people. So often we find ourselves having trouble in relationships. We find ourselves moving into unhealthy habits to cope with how trauma affects our, our mind and our, our thoughts and our emotions. So it can show up in things like substance abuse, relationship challenges, uh, difficulty with functioning, things like that. So. Two, two problems as far as I can see. One is admitting you have a mental health problem. Mm -hmm. And two is paying for it. You got How it. do you overcome step one? So with step one, I think for me, it is about showing up in the community and having honest discussions with people, giving people permission to acknowledge that there are things in their lives that might be creating challenges for them. Um, th things like issues with sleep, you know, people call themselves things like overthinkers. That's a symptom of stress. So mm. when you can show up in front of people and help them understand what's actually happening inside their mind and their body, they almost have no choice but to admit that there might be things to address. Okay, so even simple things like oversleeping. Do you think, do, are people still knotted up with maybe instances of bullying when they were six years old and now they're 40, 50 years old? Is that still a problem so far down the road? Absolutely, because we are a collection of our experiences. So as our brain goes through difficulties, and it, whether it's a small thing or a large thing or anything in between, it's gonna shape how we see the world. So if those things aren't properly worked through and us able to give it the correct language and the correct tools to deal with it, our brain will find some other way to deal with it and that's where we see the problems show up in our lives. <laughs> All right, so then we, we've, got, we've got people admitting that, okay, maybe my sleep habits or my drinking habits mm -hmm. are, are a sign of mental problems. Mm -hmm. So we admit it, but now we got to pay for it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and that's, you know, and that's not easy for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with financial problems that people might have that need your need your help? Sure. First, so for me, that's two part. The first part is making sure that I'm out in the community with other organizations because we do have a lot of free resources out here that people may not know about or know how to navigate the systems that are available. So I like to help people understand what's out there that might be affordable outside of the services that I'm able to provide them. But even beyond that, City has uh, also started a nonprofit. It's called City Foundation. And so our whole goal is to fill that gap where we might see vulnerable populations or people who are maybe not able to afford those services and find really creative ways to still put the mental health piece out there in those populations. And that foundation is hosting a fundraiser, I believe, it coming is. up a couple of months here in now. In May, yep, May 19th, Sunday, May 19th. It'll be at the district. And it'll be, uh, you know, one of the fundraiser for that foundation. We'll have a little bit more on that coming up. But, uh, but this is uh, how long has Cityd been in existence? This is our second year. And how long have you been in the mental health field? I've been in the field over ten years in the Rockford area. In the Rockford, you Rockford native, right? I am. Yeah, okay. I am. <laughs> Loud and proud. So, so Auburn High School. So what? Uh, 
So a, a decade of experience mm -hmm. with mental health issues in Rockford, are they unique to other communities that you might be aware of, or is it pretty much the same stuff that's happening in other communities is also happening here? I think we can generalize it and say that we're seeing many of the same general things, but there are specific things to each community, and especially Rockford, um, that we can see that helps us to understand how to address those general things that we see all over the place. Like what? What's, what specifics uh, have you encountered that uh, are, are Rockford only type things? Absolutely. I think for Rockford, we want to keep in mind, one, uh, the vast differences in zip code resources that are available by zip code. Um, we want to make sure we're acknowledging the deficits in our mental health care system. Uh, decades ago, we had places like Singer, you know, places where you could right. send a person to receive the help they needed if they had a serious, serious mental health condition. We don't have places like that here anymore. Yeah, that, used, so, that was a state, you got state facility you on got the it. north side. You got it. So mm -hmm. navigating that system often will see people just push off what's happening to them until it gets to that place of, of real seriousness, and then there's no place to go here in the area to service them. Cityed. Uh, LLC, it's on East State Street uh, and a 5300 block of East State Street and it is a uh, place to go to uh, start your journey to a f recovery. C-I-T-I-E-D dot org. It, what was it? Creating, Creating initiative through interaction, education, education and development. And development. City dot org. Give them a call at 779 269-4014. Don't forget there's a foundation fundraiser at Sunday, May 19th at the District Bar and Grill to help those uh, with who may, may not be able to afford to get the help they need and learn more about the organization at cityed.org. Thanks. Nice to meet you, Ashton. Nice to meet you. We'll be right back.